You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. To It's All About You with your host, Dr. Martha Latz. Dr. Martha will offer various solutions that will expand your horizons, offer solid possibilities, and guide you through developing the skills needed for your desired outcome in everyday life. So now, please welcome the host of It's All About You, Dr. Martha Latz. Welcome, welcome. I am, co- I am coming to you live from across the United States and around the world here on BBM Global Network, Tune In and iHeartRadio. I am your host, Dr. Martha Latz, and the show is It's All About You. And I am so glad to be broadcasting here from the East Coast. As you know, I have an office in th- South Florida, but it is remained closed at this time, and I have completely gone to phone sessions. And in doing so, so there have been changes that have I've made that have gone well and are still going well, and others, nah, not so much a work in progress. However, um, you know, change has been necessary for all of us. As you know, we are coming up again for a long weekend, and we're going to have to continue with some of the changes, like continuing to wear our mask and to avoid close open spaces, crowded spaces with no large gatherings and close contacts. And who would have thought that this, we would have to implement this and keep ourselves with um, common sense. You know, um, and you know, as our daily lives, we're finding out that there are We have to be flexible because the things that we used to count on are the things that we would know, you know, are not so much there anymore. And this may be a time for all of you to consider to find a valuable resource for yourself and your loved ones, perhaps to talk to a professional. These are these are wild wacky, wonky times for all of us. I know I keep going back to those four W's, but, you know, those three W's, and I forget the last one, which is, oh, wow. But they are, and they are filled with necessary changes. They're filled with force changes. So change is something that you and I right now can consistently count on. And the changes that have been forced on us that we can consistently count on is um, wearing masks. So just please wear, uh, wear them, sanitize your hands, practice social distancing. As we know, all of this is necessary in order to keep us all safe and healthy and to forgo one or two moments or days of just not caring Um, you know, that would put you, your loved ones at harm. It's a sacrifice, but please stop, uh, stop doing that if you can. In my opinion, all of this is making sense during these uncharted life experiences. The COVID is out there. We're still, we're still dealing with that. Economics is all up in the air. There's job loss. There's the political elections. There's protests. There's natural disasters. And uh, we find that we are in all of this across our nation as well as worldwide. So with that said, um, perhaps a professional will be helpful to you and you can find professionals um, in your area. Um, As you know, my expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, transition, life and relationship coach, and all things to do with social media, communication at the work 
personally and how we um, and how that platform has changed how we deal with co-workers work zoom meetings boundaries at our homes have been uh, taxed and with our friends and our relationships um, and all of our situations we can all say without <clears throat> without hesitation all look very very different now all of our resilience and our our courage and our flexibility in all of these situations are be beginning to be pushed to the breaking point and beyond. You know, daily life, well, what can I say? Um, it continues to the present uh, cha to cha challenge and changes and change after change. As um, I have and all of you, as we move past uh, the eight month mark and have started our ninth mark mark even to care about one more thing or one more issue is just pushing us all over the top and they keep coming one right after the other we have been celebrating the most uncelebrated year in the year to date um, with holidays and major life events and all i can say is what we have to look forward to well more of the same one thing I know for sure is that we can look forward to is all of these different changes, but we can orient maybe different differently. Wow. <laughs> you know, these are wild, wacky, and wonky times. We certainly are not welcoming all of these changes. We're kind of resistant. At least that is what I've been hearing from the vast majority of you. So besides being anxious and stressed, I am also hearing about being forced to change. I mean, these are, these are changes that are being forced upon us and not the changes that we choose. Um, coupled with, I cannot make um, uh, a simple day-to-day -day decisions. I hear that a lot. I don't know what the boundaries are or if there are any boundaries. So boundaries have been blurred and people are talking about that. My way of life is disintegrating right before my eyes. My relationships are disintegrating and I am just frozen in place. I don't know what to do. I hear that a lot. Um, I also hear I want my life back. Uh, please stop all the changes. Uh, if any of you can resonate with that, and I think a lot of you can because I was hearing that airwave, yes, shaking your head. In my opinion, perhaps we can help each other if we can keep the conversation going. And it's not necessarily that we're going to find solutions, but having the conversation continue uh, to go. Another way you can keep a, the conversation with me going is that I do have a lively half-hour interview on Monday at 12 noon on close-up television and radio. And we share our conversations back and forth on these topics, you know, like how, how do I make this abnormal, this unusual situation more normal um, how, that we find ourselves in? Um, and by how do I suggest that we welcome these changes uh, and you keep asking really welcoming it is it is during these changing and challenging times that we all need somebody to talk to and listen to and maybe just the same to just to be present to us and know that we're that we're out there not alone and that we're out there with a lot of same fears and concerns um, you may want to talk one-on-one -on -one with a professional. You can do this with me and learn more about me and how I may be able to help you um, by connecting with me uh, at my website at www.auniquetherapycenter.com or send me an email at lats2000 at aol.com or call my office and leave me a message. I'll get I'll get back to you, and that office number is 561-300-466. But right now, right now, today, at this moment, you, you may find some answers and some reasonable guidance with me right now here on BBM Global Network, TuneIn, and iHeartRadio. The phone lines right now, as I've been informed, are open. Uh, so this is where the world comes to talk at 
888-346-1451. Give me a call. The phone lines are open. We're going to pick up the conversation on the other side. So keep on listening and call in. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current and concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416 529 7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well, be aware, be magical. Welcome back. I am your host, Dr. Martha, coming to you live here on BBM Global Network. Tune in and iHeartRadio. Again, that phone number to call in because the lines are open is 1-866-451-1451. So be ready to talk and um, because this is where we can talk about this. You know, who would have thought, I wouldn't have thought how necessary, and all of you have been telling me this, that broadcast, um, podcast, interview series, and videos have been so, so important. Um, you know, and there's, there's uh, you know, another thing that we're going to be talking about. In, this, is, this is going to what we always experience. It's a series of forced changes that are upon us. Yeah, I know. I just heard a groan. But stay with me. We experience these forced changes every, every year. We can do nothing about it. We have to go with the flow with that. What do I mean by that? Summer, summer ends. You know, summer is going to be over. That's a natural thing that we've been experiencing all of our life. Uh, school begins, and it is beginning, but it's very, very different now. But school does begin. The weather is starting to get cooler. Um, I've been re- been hearing reports the leaves are changing. And, of course, by November 1st, daylight savings time is always at an end. Um, but since January... We've been disconnecting daily from our former lives, and I think that's what makes even just normal yearly forced upon changes seem to be so trying this year. The way we work, the way we socialize, our relationships, um, how we dress is uh, which mask do I wear today? Uh, if you, you know, we're experiencing trauma after trauma. There are major behaviors that are currently being displayed along with our traumas that are becoming a part of people's daily life. It's fear, it's anger, it's frustration, depression, stress, anxiety, the compulsions that we have, our addictions like drinking, drugging, gambling, overspending, changes in our sexual behaviors. You know, we've been experiencing that for a good now almost nine months. We've gone into the ninth month. What's becoming really, really clear 
is that we're reluctantly recognizing our patterns of behaviors that are keeping us from getting the the results that we want, or we keep getting the same results. For example, you know, why am I doing the same actions and keep making the same choices over and over again and expecting um, different results and outcomes, and they're not happening? Um, this is important right now that we, we've got time to look at that. It's important that we recognize that our repetitive behaviors and patterns um, uh, are here and they're there. And in order for us to begin any kind of hear, hearing, we really do have to take the time and recognize them uh, to create uh, any kind of healing changes from the traumas that we've been experiencing by looking at what are the blocks. Those are those repetitive um, behaviors that are placed in our, our path. You know, all of this is messy for sure. You know, as with any changes in behavior, uh, what is being sought as healing relief comes from pain and dread and guidance. And what's being said over and over and over to me is I keep hitting blocks. Nothing is working. To remove the blocks, I'm trying to, but I'm feeling so isolated. It's like me against all the trauma in all the, my world and the world at large. You know, trauma and traumatic changes for sure have compromised our ability, which is so so important to recognize, uh, to connect and to engage with others. I'm going to say that again. Trauma and traumatic changes, for sure, compromise our ability to connect and engage with others. What is being replaced uh, and replacing our behavioral patterns for connecting are patterns of behaviors for, of self-protection protecting. We're going into self-protecting ourselves. Our past, our present, and our future are colliding and mixing together and leading us to do the same um, actions that didn't bring us any results, making the same choices over and over again. We're expecting different results, but then we're exhibiting ch changes that we don't even recognize in ourselves. As I witnessed, people standing in line uh, just to check out at the drugstore, CVS, and um, people were in line. They were, um, you know, social distancing. They were doing the right. They were six feet apart, and someone just comes barreling to the front, bypasses everybody, is pulling the cashier to check her, check them out quickly now while everybody else is fumbling on the, um, and she was help, trying to help somebody else. Probably sh it was shocking everybody that was there, um, and why was that going on? Well, I think it is the frustration and we're all trying to protect ourselves and, you know, um, and then we wonder why we are exhausted. We're fatigued. We're angry. We're acting in selfish and self-serving ways. Yet, and yet we are finding that we're having to change and adjust and cope with very traumatic events. So, you know, when we can, <laughs> in a quieter moment, if you can ever find a quieter moment where all the thoughts are not racing through your head, we are in historic and, yes, times. This is a time of historic times and societal changes and new beginnings for our most rep important relationships with our family members, with our partners, with our children with our parents, um, siblings, extended family members. That's also that's going on, but it's also with our work and our co-workers. Um, you know, trying to figure out, do we stay at the job we're at? Do we look for another job? Like someone just um, that informed me that she is now looking for a third job just to, you know, figure out and keep a level of uh, where their lifestyle has been and it isn't an excessive one um, we're trying to expand like our awareness and understanding and acceptance uh, 
So what, where does that lead us to? Well, it leads us to that wonderful word, responsibility. This is a great place for us to put a pause here with BBM Global uh, Tune In and iHeartRadio that you've been listening to with me, your host, Dr. Martha, and the show is It's All About You. We're going to look at acceptance and responsibility, so stay tuned on the other side. See you then. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern. Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and to Tune in radio. Welcome back to BBM Global Network. Tune in and iHeartRadio with me, your host, Dr. Martha, and it's all about you. Is the show before the break? I was talking to you about we're trying to expand our awareness about what's going on and looking at um, the habits and the actions that we take. Um, you know, and we're not getting the desired outcome that we want. You know, understanding, as we expand our understandings, we also have to expand our acceptance. And as we expand our acceptance of what's going on, we also have to start taking uh, responsibility. And the only way we can do that is holding ourselves accountable. Everybody in the line at CVS had to hold themselves accountable and not be reactive to the person that just barreled through the line um, and bypassed everybody. Um, and then some were able to hold their to hold themselves accountable and take responsibility for not you know jumping into the fray because they didn't need to, or that um, are are being able to. Um, you know, search for help that needed to be help and happening. But, you know, we have to hold ourselves even more accountable for our thoughts, how we think, how we feel, and how we act. You know, each of us, uh, as we've talked on other shows about being mindful, that was the whole thing that was going on is, you know, are we mindful? Are we mindful of the impact that our actions have on other people? The attitudes and our goal and our goals and our dreams, how are they impacting the people in our life? Um, <clears throat> how are they impacting um, those around us and the larger we're, we're a world? One of the things is that's totally in our control is, you know, are you wearing a mask? Are you social distancing? Especially now as if we're coming to the Labor Day weekend, you know, uh, you know, disinfecting all the common areas like at the pool or at the gym. You know, one of, <clears throat> one of the people that I know uh, said that um, they're going to open their, their gym and their, their public community gym, but you have to make an appointment and your appointment is only for one hour. You are allowed one hour, and there's a window of about uh, six hours in the day that the gym, uh, the pool will be open. Who would have ever thought 
Like, uh, you know, so there was, there's no more sitting around the pool later on in the afternoon and it cools off. You know, we just have to readjust our focus and relook at the short term, if it, not to, um, not to do what is required of us is very short term because we're going to we're going to take we want to have pleasure this weekend but you know we have to weigh that against the potential risk you know with the individuals it's an adult community with the community one hours so that you're allowed and you have to book that in advance for however many people are in that development you know uh, are they going to adhere to it and will if they don't is that one is that brisk worth uh, just those momentary uh, times of pleasure? You know, when we keep doing um, actions and keep making the same choices over and over again, we are also expecting this different outcome. Well, it's not going to be different. If we're selfish and self-serving and short-sighted, the only outcome will be what we have witnessed all along is that um, cases will rise um, you know, and people's economic um, economic uh, responsibilities and their earning a wage is going to be impacted. We can struggle with all of these past actions, um, and what we'll continue b- will uh, bring is um, what we've already learned is not a benefit. So the question does become: Is this? what I want for my future is this what I want not not practicing common sense uh, when I'm engaged with other people is this what I want for my future for the foreseeable future this is what we're going to be doing to my way of thinking what we're seeing as force changes is just a way to have a fresh start an opportunity a perspective for us to live our best lives If we let these unexpected and forced changes and traumatic events um, have an impact on us, we may we may just have they may just help us develop some other things, like you know our find new resilience and strengths. Oh my goodness! Think about that. Find new resilience and strength of character that we find ourselves with force, cha- force changes. And being able to be uh, comfortable with being uncomfortable in unfamiliar situations. Okay, it's like a teacher said that she's going online teaching and when she uh, she tunes in to her, t- her children, some of them have masks, some of them don't. Some of them are in uh, in daycare situations because the parents have to work and they're not forcing the children to social distance and put masks on. And it's, it's like driving her crazy to see that because she knows what the outcome could be. So it's how to help and find resilience for her to continue to focus on keeping the children taught and in line and not can't do much about the ch- child that's in a daycare center that they're not do, forcing um, wa- mask wearing or social distancing. So what does that bring us to? Well, that's bringing us to we have to find um, courage and our courage to carry on. That will be the a catalyst for us to move forward by stimulating our imagination. So when I was talking to her about that yesterday, we were trying to come up with very creative ways of of um, handling that. Got to say we were not too successful, but at least we got ourselves thinking in another manner. So to think creatively about our lives and about our situation, her at that point teaching, and what's the final destination? Well, the final destination is to keep the children engaged and keep them learning. And the momentum is what we finally came up with. Um, and so it's like it's the how to and the how to is um, is um, a work in progress. We didn't come up with a concrete how to. We came up with a, a concrete how about so this might work or that might work. 
So, you know, we're going to pause here for a moment in this great place because we need to all pause and think about just what I had said earlier. You've been listening to It's All About You coming to you live on BBM Global Network, Tune In and iHeartRadio. And I am your host, Dr. Martha. So stay tuned and let's talk about as we think about these nerve wracking unpredictability that we're going through. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and tune in radio as Dr. R.C. will provide thought-provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. According to the American Nurses Association, there are approximately three and a half to four million nurses in the United States. So where do all these nurses work? What kind of roles do they have? What kind of education and training help to prepare them for so many different settings? What kind of impact do nurses have on patient outcomes? The World Health Organization has announced that 2020 will be the year of the nurse, honoring the 200th birth anniversary of Florence Nightingale, an international initiative called Nurse Nursing Now is underway to raise the profile of nursing. The National Academy of Medicine has convened a committee to create the future of nursing 2020 to 2030 that will focus on how the nursing profession can create a culture of health, reduce health disparities, and improve the health and well-being of the U.S. population. Learn more and join Joyce Batchelor on All About Nursing, Wednesdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on the BBM Global Network. Welcome back. It's all about you coming to you live from BBM Global Network and tune in and iHeartRadio. And I am your host, Dr. Martha. And before the break, we were talking about courage and having courage uh, to get us to our ultimate destination um, and what we want in our life. You know, we've been we've been um, presented with um, these more uh, unexpected forced changes and the traumatic events. Of course, it all brings excitement, some of that excitement we don't really want, and it's nerve-wracking. Um, but it stimulates us to make a move um, and wants us to uh, progress into a, di- a direction. You know, when we start on anything new and trying to find a new way through a, a situation like a change or a traumatic event, but things may not be very clear at the very beginning or on the surface. Um, but what I'm suggesting, and what a lot of people have said, they just don't want to do something or don't want to move or they're just frozen in place, I'm suggesting that you never resist um, any of these changes and these current life-changing events. We're all experiencing them to greater or lesser degrees. And it's all open to possibilities of recreating our our life's purpose. If we are consistent in this, while it's not easy, while it's messy, or it's not perfect, it's possible to reach um, fulfillment and maybe an unexpected fulfillment in our lives. Yeah, so what do I mean by that? Yeah, you know, ah. Well, when we adapt to all of these unexpected force changes, what we're being called to do, and you're doing this probably without even thinking, you are um, preparing yourself mentally for both your best and worst case scenarios. It's just becoming a normal way of life. We're thinking about both best and worst deliberately, not letting it just fall upon you. Uh, will develop and will help us develop and cultivate our courage. We were just talking about that. When we have courage, we become curious. When we become, we have courage and we're curious, 
we then start looking creatively to have healthier mind habits and healthier habits and healthier actions and thoughts. It provides us with flexibility, provides us with strength in unexpected circumstances and forced changes. Yeah, we're, we're feeling that really, really, uh, really, really heavy now. Um, so, so we have we have something like courage to help move beyond fears. We have curiosity will replace and force us to make and ask and look at questions that will lead us to our ultimate destination. Um, creativity will emerge and it will allow for a much broader range of solutions and possibly solutions that we have not thought of. All of this difficulty in, in, is very difficult. And I'll say it again. This difficulty is difficult in the beginning. But it can become part of long-term benefits and thinking ahead. So let's, let's think about that. So how am I going to do that? You know, I'm hearing people ask me, how am I going to do that? Well, you know, uh, let's, think about, let's think about this, a how-to guide uh, with these unexpected force life changes as they influence our present and future. So we have to ask the questions, is this for better or for worse? If we know it's for better, and even if we know it's for worse, we can proceed accordingly. Um, you know, are there opportunities in either the better or worse? There's always opportunities no matter what area of life you're in and what what opportunity is pre presenting and what are the changes that are influencing us right now there are always opportunities um what is happening is that when we have that and we're asking those questions or having those thoughts you and i are being uh, guided to respond to these um events and traumas and changes and um, p placing all the choices and actions squarely back on us. Sounds like it's um, counterintuitive, but it's not, okay? Because what will, what will we be doing? Whether it's for better or for worse, we will be responding to it in a proactive way to the present moment, how that is directly affecting me now. Um, by acknowledging there's all kinds of possibilities and looking for the possibility, um, a different way of looking at things, um, encouraging us to ask all kinds of questions like what else is possible, possible, and pausing. You know, take a moment and pause. Not everything needs to be rushed because what I have found lately, if I am rushed into a decision, I will make mistakes. So, you know, you're, want, you're wanting to respond quickly, but you end up having to do something over and over again uh, three or four times before you get it right. So this is, this is a moment for us to start practicing. We can pause. We can pause and look at what's happening um, and not get caught up because in that short term thinking, you know, in a reaction and reacting in panic. The last thing you and I want to be is to be resistant to the unexpected force changes, traumas. Okay, we have to think long term and how this will impact our futures. What am I not seeing or considering? You know, a simple, simple pausing and thinking about that. What have I gained? What have I lost? What can I con control um, is, is how I will adapt. And can I adapt? You know, uh, there's no way of measuring how can you adapt unless you try. And we all know that as we adapt to something, there is sacrifice. We have to let go of certain things. Um, uh, what are the options that we have moving forward? Who and what will help us? into the right actions right now or guide us into the right actions now right now again you know it's we need to set some sort of reasonable expectations and reason being reasonable just doesn't seem like it's in the equation but it's still there 
So take a realistic look at your circumstances your circumstances, and what you can control, and what you need to adapt outside and inside of these unexpected um, force changes. This is a great place for us to uh, pause. You've been listening to It's All About You with me, your host, Dr. Martha, coming to you live on BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And on On the other side, we will look at what are reasonable expectations. Master of words, powerful player. What life-changing words can Dr. Janet Smith-Warfield pull out of her magical toolbox that just might mysteriously open a door you never knew was there? A door to free yourself from fear forever. Transform your rage into right action. Release your guilt. Position you into a life of freedom, purpose, passion, power, and peace. All quite suddenly, unexpectedly, and almost miraculously, with no effort on your part. Join Dr. Janet every Monday at noon Eastern on Dancing with Words, Dancing with Wisdom. On the BBM Global Network, as she and her guests show you how words map our experiences, immersing you in a sound bath that relaxes your muscles, opens your mind, and supports you in co-creating your extraordinary life. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBC. BBM Global Network. Welcome back. I'm your host, Dr. Martha, coming to you live from BBM Global Network. Tune in and iHeartRadio. And the show is It's All About You. And that's what we were looking at. It's all about you and it's all about me, especially trying in these trying times. Uh, you know, we always were having these. Uh, changes that are happening, these traumatic events. But, you know, we can, we know that we have to make the best of it. Okay, we know that in order to um, gain some sort of control, we have to learn how to adapt. And when we adapt, it causes a little bit of sacrifice. And we have to let go of things. Um, But then um, looking at the options that would be there and who will be there and who will help us right here and now, okay? The, um, and help us make the best use of the opportunities that we have at hand. You know, when we take immediate action and you always choose to act because when you choose to act, you will increase your choices and your actions and your options. Don't let things be. Don't deny or wait or deal with it later. Things are unlikely, as we all know, we've experienced it in the past before this time, uh, to get better on their own. Moving forward is the best action, taking an action, taking a step. Even if it's only in a small way, it can be of great value to us later and in the future. Experience, if we if we can look at our experience for now, has all taught us something. So what is it that, you know, experience from your past, you have adapted, you have changed, and you have survived. When you've done that, 
you have gained control and maintained it to increase and create your life or recreate your life. You've done that before. Whether it's choosing a college that you're going to go to to graduate from or the job you're going to take after graduation or the move, do I buy a home or do I not buy a home? Uh, how can I how can I recreate myself in the job market? You've been doing this all along. We're now doing it at a more rapid rate, and it seems like it never stops. It's, you know, close our eyes, and the next day the whole world is very different, and in some respects it is. But you've, you've, you have in the past, and that's your experience, you have found a way to do that. Um, you, you had a choice. You thought what, the way you thought there were none, and you moved forward. So what can we take away from all of this? I mean, it's it's like we're talking about change. We're talking about trauma. We're talking about, you know, um, you know, all of the areas that have been impacted in our life. Well, the first thing that we can take away from this is to know that there is going to be some form of grief, you know, whether it's from planned or unexpected or forced changes in trauma. There's going to be it's going there's going to be grief you're going to grieve about what you had before okay and that's okay to be able to say that to know that you know it is all a part of a human life cycle uh, we all have that as we grow as we change as we age it's just part of our human life cycle um, there will be a loss of something uh, and being able to say, okay, I recognize that there is a loss, or maybe I don't know exactly what that loss is at the moment, but I know I've lost something, and you're going to feel uncomfortable. It is not comfortable to know you've lost something, or know that you have lost something, but you don't know quite what you have lost yet. Um, so what can we do? There's a few things we can do um, that can, that are brought on by change in our traumatic events. Um don't make a reactive or quick decisions at that moment. You can take time and assess what your situation is all about. Um, take a moment. You've got to, we, you don't know. Um, we, all, we all have something that has gone on. You have lost something and you've lost something of value. So you need to feel of those emotions and express those thoughts. Just don't numb out. And the first thing people do is they numb out. I had a conversation with someone um, earlier in the week, and they were talking about numbing out, um, you know, whether it was drinking or smoking pot, recreational drugs, but they're finding that you know, it's not giving them the same relief and they have had to up it again. They're trying to numb out. When you numb out, it's nothing is ever enough because you're never numb enough. So if you feel the emotions and you feel those thoughts, expressing that to someone, possibly a professional, you might be able to get through it and not do some self-destructive behaviors. Locate, 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 locate the people and the places who will support you in this time. Um, gather in all the information about the situation and evaluate, evaluate it. Is it coming from credible, reliable sources? Or is it coming from just, you know, you don't know where it's coming from, but it's not agreeing with what's out there? Uh, on a consistent basis, or that you can fact check and you have the facts in front front of you. Focus on what your goals are right now. If your goal is to maintain or to look for a, a new job, or if your goal is to maintain your job, or if a, your goal is to um, get to the point where you'll be able to move your relationship forward. Focus on the, the goal and the life purpose that's there and what may be needed to adjust. Now, you may need to adjust or readjust them. That doesn't mean that your goal is um, you just have to throw it out. It Just keep in mind that you st it still can be a part of your life plan. We're going to get married but right now, can't see about it in the foreseeable future. Or I'd like to go on to graduate school, but right now, 
um, it's not it's not financially feasible at the moment. You just have to adjust it. Or I'm in graduate school and I'm getting ready to set for either MCATs or LSATs. Uh, but um, I can't do it at this setting. I may have to put it off for another setting of the LSAT or uh, um, MedCATs. Think about those. You know, remember to keep in mind you have blessings from your past goals and accomplishments and the, even the current ones. That's a great place for us to pause and, to, and think about that for a moment and take that well-deserved credit. You've been listening to It's All About You with me, your host, Dr. Martha, coming to you live on BBM Global, Tune In and iHeartRadio. Keep listening because there's some other interesting f- things that we can put in our toolboxes at the moment. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy EasySense.com and learn how, with your help, we can fight these horrific brain disorders. That's EasySense.com to learn more and help support the Broderick Foundation. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of career current concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. Welcome back. It's all about you live on BBM Global Network. Tune in and iHeartRadio. And I am your host, Dr. Martha. And before the break, I asked you to think about and, you know, congratulate yourself on your accomplishments because they're still there. You've experienced them, you know, Uh, and remember that those are blessings and take that well-deserved credit But what I've um, found is that uh, it's really important at the moment to make to keep a check on our attitude uh, when we are experiencing change and experiencing our goals changing or being readjusted uh, and engaging in new and different thoughts. Also remember that when we're doing that, we are opening new pathways in our brains. So when we do that to learn how to be more creative, like this gentleman said, I didn't realize that I didn't take in the fears that my wife would be having. Um, and that um, it's not that she wanted me to stop with graduate school, it's it's doing and readjusting our thoughts. So when we take that moment, allowing our our brains to pick that up, we will get creative. And they were they're in the process of working out uh, a creative way of handling it. So the impact won't be so lopsided. Staying in the present, I mean, right now, it, more than ever, and it's always been important to stay in the here and now and focus on what you are doing, what you are saying, what can be said, what can be done at this moment. Letting go of those past behaviors, uh, thought processes that weren't helpful to you. Uh, don't let it bump into the future because when this starts bumping in to the future, 
uh, and it leads us to unproductive ways to deal with anxiety and depression. We have to stay in that present moment of today. And if we do that and maintain that, no, you're not going to stay there 100%. But if you make uh, uh, you know, an effort to stay there, that's your intention, you're going to be more successful uh, than you had ever been. You know, that will keep us on the path that we see ourselves on now, that adjusted path, those adjusted goals. Um, and it will help us move past the pains that we're feeling at the moment. We're all experiencing and having to cope with force unexpected changes daily. It's a hard period in our personal, professional, social life. It's also affecting, we're also affected by natural disasters in history. Right now, things are a huge game changer for us. As we try to move ahead and, and remain there, so many questions and few answers. And it's leaving us all searching for reliable uh, guidance and how to make good plans. Remember that we're all trying to do the best we can right now. So there's compassion that needs to be out there and understanding during these ever-changing times and issues. So what do we need to do? Well, use common sense. Okay, use common sense. Be compassionate. Practice courtesy, not like the person that raced ahead of everybody and got everybody upset at the drugstore. Um, be content with the things as they are now. What are those blessings that you have that have been consistent throughout this trying period? And in my opinion, if we do that, that will be a winning part of our own individual and societal plan for coping with all of our major ch uh, changes. So again, wear your masks, social distance, sanitize. Okay, you can re you can re listen to all of this. So I want you to be a partner to your partner, be an adult, continue to be safe during these wild and wacky times, with using your new skills, welcoming the changes in your life, um, and just know that it's all an interesting point of view, and it can change in a moment as we experience it. Until next time, I want to thank you all for listening. Have a safe Labor Day weekend. Um, it's all about you, live from BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I'm saying goodbye until you and I say hello again on Thursday at 1 o'clock, live here on BBM Global Network, Tune In and iHeart Radio. You've been listening to It's All About You with your host, Dr. Martha Latz. Join us next week as we explore solutions and resolutions to some of your most challenging moments on Dr. Martha Latz, It's All About You. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.